In this video, I'm going to show you two really easy and effective ways to just create some really interesting snap throw concepts out of the single back wing stack in Madden 21. What is going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're talking about snap throws. Now, if you notice here, I put the flanker spot in my audibles. I also put the buck smash. We're gonna be going over both of those plays uh, in this video. And real quick, for those of you that don't know, I actually put the single back wing stack scheme in my true fan membership, which you can sign up for in the description of this video. What my true fan membership is, it's basically a vault. Um, it's a resource, it's a brain trust. It's where my core uh, followers actually hang out. And what we do is every single week, we release a offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, and we also release a pro player film breakdown. So if you wanna get kind of the most high level Madden content that I have, I would encourage you to join that true fan membership because not only are you going to have access to that, but starting in Madden 22, you're actually going to have access to a private Discord server where everybody kind of hangs out and talks Madden. Now, real quick, before we go any further, I do want to let you know that true fan members, if you join the true fan membership before August 12th, you're actually going to get my first offensive and defensive ebook of Madden 22 available completely for free of charge. So everyone that's in the true fan membership on August 12th, you're going to get the uh, offensive and defensive ebook completely free of charge once we release it for Madden 22. So that's a great uh, little way for you to be able to just kind of get a step up on the competition. Okay, so let's talk about some snap throws out of this. Um, if you played Madden at all, especially Madden 21, you're going to know that this little uh, seam flat zone blitzing strategy out of the Mike Blitz 3 is a really effective technique. And what I love about this is this is actually going to give us a couple different types of snap throws. The first snap throw is one that's really, really simple and really doesn't need a lot of adjustments. All we're simply going to do is we are going to leverage the power of this motioned out uh, little, little, um, little angled hook route. And I've talked about this before, but this is one of my favorite little routes to throw. Just snap, throw the ball out there. If they're not in cover two, you're gonna see you're gonna have a lot of success. And so, and we're gonna go over how to attack cover two in just a second, um, but that's kind of the primary thing. So if they're not in cover two, and especially if they are in something like a cover three Mabel, this is a really good passing concept because uh, what you're gonna see here is these, these underneath routes from Buck Smash and Flanker Spot are so good, especially this motion out square. Um, you see just easy seven to 10 yards. And what it does is it really forces your opponent to have to get out of the pressure blitz scenario because you're throwing the ball so quick. Um, another play that we can do from this is uh, if they run man-to-man -man coverage, all you're doing is once he curls up, you're just pass leading the outside. Don't low ball it, don't high ball it, just throw it out there. As soon as he's starting to kind of curl up, he's gonna get wide open whether it be press man or not because this is what we call kind of a, it's kind of like a ghost route. It kind of pauses for a second and then it goes, which kind of freaks the defense out a little bit and allows them to kind of glitch out in man coverage. You're not gonna be able to jump it because they're just kind of frozen um, in the man-to-man -man coverage. Another route that's like this is the flanker spot. We talked about this in a previous video, but this is another, uh, basically the same concept. We're just gonna motion it to the opposite side and you see he's going to the outside. He gets this little ghost release, and as you can see, we can hit him for a quick five yards if they're pressuring us out of zone. And then I'll show you man-to-man uh, -man pressure real quick. And if they're pressuring us out of man, you're gonna notice that this is gonna still be just as effective. Um, again, all we're gonna do is just kind of let him kind of naturally freeze like that, throw it outside, and you see you get a quick little four yard dot. So you get these quick dots on both sides of the field, and now I'm gonna share with you kind of a little uh, advanced tip for how we can take this concept up a notch. And that's to basically use the inverse. So what I like to do is I can run this Bucks, Bucks uh, smash play. And all I'm going to do on this play is I'm gonna put the square receiver on a corner route. I'm gonna put the X on a deep vertical. And then um, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And what you're gonna notice on this play is especially, especially if they send pressure, you're gonna see this really uh, true. 
that vertical is really gonna fly upfield with the route and you're gonna see this little button hook now comes inside and is really good because what they're gonna do is they're gonna shift from seam flats to hard flats. And they're gonna put their zone drops back on kind of a standard depth because you've been killing the seam flats and you've been killing man-to-man -man coverage all game. And so now what you're gonna see your opponent do, and I'm gonna show you this in my coaching adjustments, they're gonna basically just simply reset these. They're gonna put these back to kind of a default depth uh, and really just try to uh, play a little bit more aggressive. So I'm gonna single back wing stack or ace stack or whatever it's called, single back wing stack. And again, we're just gonna show this. So um, you're gonna see that these seam flats, they're gonna train change those to hard flats. And what you're gonna see on this is when we audible over to the flanker spot, or I'm sorry, the buck or the flanker spot's a good example. We'll start here. We audible over to this flanker spot play. And now what you're going to notice is they're going to really bite down quick. Now they don't stop it, but they do go down a little faster and they kind of put themselves in the position. Now on this back side, I just want to show you the same thing. And again, I'm playing hard flats on the outside. Uh, we've got that angled corner route or angled little flat. And you'll see here that the, the hard flat doesn't get it as long as you throw the ball like quick, quick. That's what we're looking to do. So now what's gonna happen is they're gonna go to these Tampa 2s. And on these Tampa 2s, what they're gonna do is they're gonna put these hard flats on the field. So now I want you to watch this square receiver. You're gonna see, oh, he's in a hard flat. I can't throw it. And now I can throw my corner route for about 30 yards. Same thing should be true on the, on the opposite side. So um, let me just go back to Tampa 2. And now I'm gonna go back to flanker spot. And at a flanker spot, if they're playing hard flats, what you should see is once again, I'm gonna to look to the right. If it's not open, then I'm gonna work back side. So you see, look, nope, not open. Okay, now look at my corner, and you see my corner is wide open on the back side. So they're gonna to have to kind of do what we call a double flat. And what that looks like is basically this. You're gonna see Tampa 2 with hard flats, and then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a curl flat zone on the outside and a curl flat zone on the outside. And the reason that they're going to do this is because that's going to give them the best chance to stop these corner routes. So if I go back to flanker spot, for example, when I motion this guy out and I got my drag there, right? What you're going to notice, I want you to watch, you got the hard flat there and now I got the curl flat and the curl flat doesn't exactly play the corner, but it does kind of hesitate and make you have to like actually wait on this route to get open. So if I go back to that Tampa 2, again, hard flat on the outside, and then I'm gonna do um, curl flat zones, just like this. Obviously their user is in the middle of the field. And if I go back to that original play uh, flanker spot, and if you have Hot Route Master, um, if you want to, what you can actually do is you can put the X on a post, or I'm sorry, the X on a drag, the R1 on a corner, and you can have the high-low on the right. Um, and again, I just want you to see what happens here. So if you watch this high-low on both sides, what you'll see is this curl flat, it doesn't, you see how it gets out there. It makes a good play. It, it doesn't exactly stop everything we could do over there, but it does stop that route. The same thing is true of Buck Smash. So if I go back to Buck's uh, Smash here for a second, what you're gonna notice is, and again, if I just put the curl flats out there, you're going to see, um, if you watch this, if you watch this route on the left, the corner, it's a little bit better of a corner route, but you should see it's still gonna have a little bit of trouble. So they cover that little circle, and now you'll see this corner route. Now this corner route is a little bit better, it's a little deeper, but that's kind of the idea of what they're gonna do. So this next snap throw that I'm gonna show you, this next concept is really gonna take advantage of when they do that. And it's not just a, a big play type of an advantage, but it's a really focused advantage that does a really good job of attacking the underneath zones the, uh, for like quick throws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to flanker spot and all I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna motion the spot route to the left side, just like out of bug smash, but now I can just simply throw the ball as he comes underneath the route, um, really simple. Uh, really simple, really effective, and it's actually really, really good, um, especially if they're doing that Mabel coverage out of that with the hard flats because it's very likely that they're gonna do something essentially like this right here where they have the middle of the field basically wide open. And so when we go to this flanker spot, uh, spot concept, what you should see happen is you should see that this little spot route, these two little hitches underneath are gonna be easy check downs um, and easy quick throws if you get that max coverage look. Now, if you get a blitz out of this or any semblance of pressure out of this, 
which could look something essentially like this right here, where we get this look. It's a very popular look. Um, what you're going to see is you're going to see Bucks um, or Flanker spot. And again, we're just blocking the running back. And I just want you to watch that square receiver. That corner route pulls everybody out. And now I can throw it over the middle and have a really good read. The same is true on the opposite side of the field. So I'm just going to go to the opposite side of the field. So again, I'm going to go to cover two. I'm going to send some pressure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a purple zone. Okay, so they might want to use this guy, um, or maybe they're going to send a little extra pressure off this side, put a cloud there. You know, that could be something that they do. But essentially, they're going to send the house at us. Well, what we can do is we can go to this play uh, Bucks Smash now. And what I like to do out of this one is I actually like to take this X receiver and put him on a corner route if possible. And what this is going to do is you're going to see that corner route is going to pull the zones outside. And now I've got this little quick snap throw right down the middle for an easy three to five yards. So once again, we're really getting and forcing our opponent to have to play some underneath zones. They're not gonna be able to just sit and blitz the crap out of us, but they're also at the same time, not gonna be able to just you know play max coverage either. Um, this is a great concept for max coverage. And the reason why it's so good is because it's a high low on both sides of the field with these little drags really meshing well together. And as you'll see here, this corner opens up because of these little spot routes coming underneath and compressing the zones down. There you have it. So that is a really good way to attack the defense. And if you start to see that they're dropping everybody back in coverage, my favorite little tactic is to go to the play four verticals. It looks exactly the same. All we're gonna do is streak the circle receiver, motion that square receiver to the outside. And if they're playing hard flats on you, it's gonna be an absolute laser, maybe even a one play score, depending on how fast your receiver is. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've been enjoying the single back wing stack mini scheme. And if you wanna get the full single back wing stack scheme, it's in the description. All you have to do is join the True Fan membership for $5 a month. And again, if you join the True Fan membership before August 12th, I'm going to be giving you a free copy of my Madden 22 offensive ebook and my Madden 22 defensive ebook. The first ebooks I release for the Madden 22 season are going to be yours free of charge if you join the True Fan membership by clicking the link down below before August 12th.